Two 12-year-old Wisconsin girls are being held on attempted murder charges this morning. Prosecutors say they lured a classmate into the woods in Waukesha, then stabbed her 19 times. The victim survived. The girls, she considered friends, are charged as adults. Elaine Cajano shows us how the kids allegedly plotted this attack for months. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. According to the criminal complaint, the young suspects quickly confessed to detectives. They indicated they were motiva motivated by Slender Man, a fictional character they read about on internet horror sites, which they seem to believe is real. Some may find the details of this case disturbing. The 12 year olds were shackled and jailed Monday after prosecutors charged them with the gruesome crime that happened 48 hours earlier in a Waukesha, Wisconsin park. One suspect held the victim down while the other suspect stabbed her 19 times in the arms, legs, and torso. Despite stab wounds to major organs, the 12 year old victim was able to get away. A bicyclist found her on the sidewalk covered in blood and begging for help. When asked who attacked her, she said, My best friend. Police found the two suspects a few hours later. Once we located the two girls, it quickly became apparent that they were the suspects in this investigation. Detectives say one of the girls explained that the original plan was to kill their friend while she was sleeping, so they did not have to look into her eyes. According to the criminal complaint, they later decided the park bathroom was better because, quote, the floor had a drain for the blood to go down. Ultimately, police say the girls distracted the victim with a game of hide and seek, then tackled her and started stabbing. All I heard was screaming, one of the suspects told police. It was weird that I didn't feel remorse. Both girls talked about the mythological creature Slender Man, which they learned about online. We had to kill to prove ourselves worthy, one of the 12-year-olds said. The defense attorney for one suspect says mental health is certainly an issue, but right now he says the family is still in a state of shock. They don't really know what to feel right now. It's the kind of thing that no family could ever imagine being confronted with. There's still a chance this case will be moved to juvenile court. As for the victim, she is expected to survive. Doctors say her attackers missed a major artery near her heart by just one millimeter. Wow. Elaine, thanks.